10. Good evening. Thank you for choosing Acadiana's news channel at 10 o'clock. I'm Valerie Ponsetti. Energy Transfer Partners is getting closer to breaking ground for construction of the Bayou Bridge Pipeline. The company got its permits this week. The water protectors at Low A La Vie, or Water is Life, camp near Doucan, responded today with prayer. KTC's Josh Many was there to see what the activities were all about. It's tonight's top story. The Native American-led water protectors at Loe La Vie Camp are responding to the Bayou Bridge Pipeline's recent regulatory success by grounding themselves in their ongoing mission to protect what they believe is sacred. The First Nation people in this country have been struggling to protect these waters. We feel like that's, that's always been our directive from our culture, from our ancestors, all the way back for as far as time immortal have told us that we are to protect the land, that we are to protect the waters of North America. The day included creating art for the resistance, eating a potluck, and having good conversation and coming together in fellowship. There was also a sacred native ceremony that had to be off camera. For me, ceremony is a very sacred thing. It brings you closer to your ancestors and to creators. And for me being here today, I'm one acknowledging the tribes who um, this land actually belongs to. Um, I'm acknowledging that this is their land, this is not even my land because I'm from a different tribe. Um, I'm also asking my ancestors to be with us here today in our fight and our struggle for our land and for the rights to clean water. People pray in different ways and the water protectors are here praying not only for the protection of the land, but also possibly themselves within the coming months. Yeah, a lot of us have been through this before at Standing Rock um, for the XL Pipeline. And uh, I'm from Louisiana, but I, I've been up to those places also, and it's um, very traumatic what these pipeline mercenaries and uh, do to you know peaceful protesters. Organizers for Louisiana Bucket Brigade, a nonprofit that helps residents living near oil refineries and chemical plants to reduce pollution, says the water protectors will not resort to violence during their fight to halt the pipeline. We are here in a peaceful spirit. We are nonviolent. We have been and always will be, and we expect to be treated that way uh, by the by the local officials. Right now, the water protectors are appealing to Louisiana to continue to deny the private security firm Tiger Swan from providing security for the pipeline construction. Tiger Swan is currently subject to a lawsuit in North Dakota for operating without a license during the Dakota Access Pipeline protests. Alleged Tiger Swan documents included as evidence in the lawsuit show the firm conducted surveillance over and infiltrated protest groups while working for energy transfer partners. Since August, Tiger Swan has employed five lobbyists to engage Louisiana's executive branch, according to records with the Louisiana Ethics Administration Program. Just praying nobody gets hurt. Near Doucan, Josh Minnie, KTC TV3.